Nice and lovely Jamaican oxtail with bean. Yes, that is it. I saw it come down. Still here. I'm not gone yet. Um, where am I now? I was actually cleaning up um, some stuff we use for breakfast. My wash plate. Now, you want to see me always a cook. My wash plate. So, while I was doing that, I had the peas in this thing. Woo. Yes, so what I'm going to do is just turn it out in this thing so that I can get this for pressure in the oxtail. Let me just see if the peas is ready because this peas, I actually got this peas from overseas. It's not the local red kidney beans that I'm used to in Jamaica, so I'm not sure on the cooking time. And yes, guys, I don't need to go any further. Let me go to some better light. You see that split there? Peas ready. I'm not even have to squish this in my finger or nothing. Peas ready. So, I'm going to turn that out, rinse that out for a second. I have the oxtail here now that I'm actually going to start try to remove some of the excess fat from it, like some of this. Yeah, I'm going to slightly trim it. Oxtail expensive, you know. So, I'm not thinking, so I'm going to sit down and scrape off the whole life at half, right? And that's your half of my money. Because I think that right there, right now, is maybe about $5,000. I mean, I've got that for 2500 So, I'm just going to remove some of the fat. And I'm going to do a um, wet rub. I'm going to blend some scallion, onion, thyme, pimento seed. So, nice little season. You know, do a wet rub for this. And a dry rub. Yeah. And then I'm going to just sear them a bit, you know, fry them a bit before turning them over to the crock pot let the crock pot deal with it after the crock pot tenderize it back in my frying pan see go make it bubble down and see there we have some broad bean feet so don't make you worry yourself everything we have to eat today you know say you know, do a twist for now then. i've done it once before red stripe beer oxtail you ever see that one <laughs> No show no how I go on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fry some fish as well. So, see me have my tree red snapper here, so I go on wait. I'm not going to out, man. Anyways, that is that. Um, just open on the camera a bit, switch the peas out, and start cleaning up the ox steel. So, big up on the set. This is what I can afford to lose people at this current moment. This is all the fat, the excess fat from my oxtail. So I'm just get some vinegar in there. Wash that meat. And then we are gonna remove it from this water and start to season it. People, look at this. This is over a thousand dollars worth of ox steel. God no. <laughs> we know people right now buy this and uh, not trim nothing off of it. Mm -hmm. No joke about it. But guys, health is wealth. Hold it for fat that. Although they say fat are the flavor. So, that they say. Me no want it though. Me no want that the flavor. Though. I don't want it. Anyway, big up on yourself. Organize this, you know, and go start. Blend up some season to make a wet rub for this ox steel. By the way, the ox are which part of the, 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 the are a which animal? A ox? Is ox steel really ox? <coughs> Hmm. Then see a cow. So then see. We'll leave a fat that. No wonder. We can't work with this. Easy with the ox steel. Right now, time is moving so fast, but thank God me have my, my flash. 
Never let me down yet. What a day when something happened to it. Mighty God. Mm. So, let me just continue to deal with some herbs and some spices for this thing. Come, let me show you what I'm going Come, you don't come with me. We have scallion, pimento, or a small piece of rosemary, or a scotch bonnet, onion, thyme. If I say thyme already, I say go thyme again. <laughs> Yeah, so we just go blend this out a little. Oh, should have added a bit of water. You can use vinegar, lime juice, not too much though. You need something to kind of lubricate this. And while I was doing this, I started to season um, this pot right here with my peas. I have thyme and scallion and pimento and a little piece of ginger in there. Ginger run out for me. Ginger should have been in this um in this um wet rub. But I'm out on ginger right now. Alright, so let's just plug this in. Let me actually set up this camera. Yes, my people. All right. All right. These lights have been charging for maybe about half hour. Let's see how much or how long they will last. Guys, there's no dry seasoning this as yet and this already smells so good yeah so i'm preheating my my pot as we speak in with a little maggi all purpose you know somebody then up season and i'm gonna put a little bit of chicken as well on this not too much. I like using the chicken season, but I rather the all uh, purpose. So, yeah, thin with the all purpose. Now we're gonna get some coloring on this. A lot of people use um, soy sauce while they season this. I use soy sauce as well, but not for the seasoning part. When I'm cooking this down, I like adding soy sauce to the gravy. Alright, so we're just gonna fry these a bit before we add them to the Instapot. Okay. Alright, let's move over to the stove. something else so I'm just using that one right now alrighty remember guys we're not gonna be frying these for too long we just want to sear them a bit on the outside and then we we'll move it over to our instapots 
this pan was already on high heat so I know this oil is probably hot already let me just drop a piece of see what I can find from this all right you see that no joke In with the ox steel. Maybe about five minutes on each side should be good enough. while well, this is frying I'm gonna start dealing with my fish because I'm not sure if these fish are um, still so let me just unpack them and see what's still going on as you can see I kind of live a bit from um, seeing you know, guys so so me get fish, so me have to buy it. And me no fisherman. Me now go see. So if fisherman say twenty dollar, me a game. If he say hundred, me a game. Guys, I always try to remove meat water from my, my bags or whatever before I throw them in my garbage. And right now guys, doing a scale. So I have a bit of scaling to do. Anyways, enough chit chat. Let me just get them out of the way quick and fast. They now go scale them. I know nobody now go scale them for me. So let's get the you know so me I go outside for a bit to scale these. Here is going to start flying all over the place, so might as well. Might as well. What well, you use with scale? You don't have a scale at home. You don't know using forks. You don't know the method. Eh? Anyways, I'm out. Perfect. Perfecto. So I'm just gonna remove these pieces. I already turned them, but the thing is, I was handling fish, so I could have turned on the camera to show while I was turning these. So they're already turned. All right. So while we're, at, we're taking out, we're going to be adding these pieces are smaller, should fry faster. Alright, so we get the drift. I have three more pieces, but I'm just trying to make some space. Yeah, so, so we sure know the rest. I am back. I'm just getting a little gyro season for this fish. A little salt and some black pepper. I was 
um, going to excavate this, but it appears that I can only fry these fish, but I will be able to make a excavate sauce as I'm out of black pepper, guys. Yeah, not black pepper, sorry. I'm out of vinegar. Come on. Good. Right, I want to sharpen. Okay, I'll get to it. It's sharp, but. Not how I am used to it. I'm used to it being way sharper. Alright, so look we just rub some of this season all over. You know, I was just here thinking about something based on some recent videos that I've been watching. I am not going to call it any name as I don't want to start anything or I don't want anyone thinking that I'm actually bashing anybody. But I said that to say this, me personally. If there's 10 hook shops out the road and you want to go open number 11, I will never ever discourage you. You understand? And we all know how this system is set. See? There is enough people in this world. You know, I don't remember who actually the original owner for this um, coat that I'm going to say here. I've always seen it. And it goes, the world has enough for everyone's need, but not everyone's greed. Think about that. So enough there. To all our needs. But not the all of agrees. Yeah. As me say, I will never discourage someone from doing something. If you set your mind to doing something, that is fine by me. See, the only thing I can tell you to do is to be the best at whatever it is that you're going to do. So, if you have a set of clothes and 10 other people out there sell clothes, well, I'm going to sell your clothes. Your customer is going to be your customer. You understand? Or also, the next thing is, um, you don't know who or what or, you know? Hey, it's just a whole mess up thing. And I really don't want to say it too much or call anybody name or call out anybody. It's not going to think to me or anybody or anything. So I will just leave it wherever it is right now. With whatever that was just said, I will leave it just at that. But as I said, I can repeat that statement. I will never ever tell someone not to do whatever it is that they want to do. Even with um, YouTube, let me use YouTube right now as the biggest example. You know about the people out there right now do cooking video. I will never ever tell a man say, yo, do the cooking video do something different. Yeah. No man. You cannot do that. You know how much people in this world, how much billions of people in this world 
and you you going to say that to somebody right now say oh don't do that the kind of business there don't venture that way or don't go in a youtube or don't do that the kind of video i just madness because support can be a hell of a thing you know and once somebody will watch a set of cooking videos there and him not like it while someone else go watch them and actually like it See, and then they go over one next part and then you have vice versa you know so the, 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 the whole world is just what it is you know you have to just level it playing for you sometimes but saying something like that is a straight bad mind thought like me being a youtuber right now and they do some cooking videos if my neighbor want to go do cooking videos i not go tell him say you don't go do cooking videos if you never want to follow me and cook everything when I want to go me and cook for your business but I know everybody have the mentality there. I don't know everybody's space so You understand? Yeah. Anything you want to go do, man, go ahead and do it. What 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 am I going to do or what go happen? You go stop people from viewing my channel. That's impossible. No much people in this world. Come on man. Anyways, um last set of oxtail right now about to come up. What I'm actually gonna do. I was about to put this in the Insta part. It's, it, it works faster, but um, I'm against time because I think it's almost 5 and I want it to done cook at 5. Okay? It's 4.15. So, I'm going to roll out all faithful. Away there. I roll out the pressure cooker. And um, I'm going to use the oxtail for the pressure cooker. Put back the peas in the in stuff on there. I like cooking rice in that thing. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned. I'm gonna remove these oxtail. I've just lit this frying pan up to start frying some fish. So, everything can come in at fire, but I have to. I have to multitask. I can't use one specific thing to do everything. All right. So, let me just get some things out of the way. No one will say start right fish, but I was on the phone with Umi. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You still have my pot over here, so guys, I wait for you up here. <laughs> I've been sitting here talking, and I didn't even realize that I actually did the opposite with the ox steel on the right. I said did the opposite of what I just told you guys I was doing because I was on the phone and I did. So distracting. So I actually have the ox tail in this. Maybe I didn't even realize yeah, that I go on. Mm -hmm. Nice, beautiful day. With 8 minutes on my clock to 5 o'clock, I have to be moving really fast. So. I've already fried the fish. I have my rice and peas. The old fashioned way. Did you this up today? See? Uh, okay. Sure, I go on. Nice and rich. Time for a little piece of rosemary. Uh, one green scotch bonnet, butter, coconut milk, um, all spice, see there, mm -hmm. everything in it, scallion, everything in it, see there, these are scallion, but I tend to always be um, mincing my scallion whenever I cook rice and peas. I don't like to cook and see people picking out these stuffs. And I waste them. Yes, they already do their job, you know, because they practically flavor the pot. Anyways, the timer has just been completed on this. Let me get the light over here, so. The ox steel, the hot man. Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, so I'm just going to check the texture. I had it on um, 20 minutes i'm gonna check the texture and see what they go on so let me get a fork already 
it looks like the bone is being separated from the meat or the meat being separated from the bone so yeah I'm gonna transfer it over to this frying pan that I have already um I've already fried them up in and then I uh, don't think I'm gonna even bother doing any spinners I'm just gonna do some broad bean and the usual vegetables and that should be it for my oxtail so let me just cut some shine some um time short and continue match up on me and match up because me have to improvise now let me see if we can show on what I'm going see the people lovely yep my kind cheese ready sure you go spread stuff for them ready so up steel rice and peas yeah so in a bit nice and lovely jamaican ox steel with beans yes that is it that's how it come down mm -hmm. Alright, so people that have a conclude to today's video, you know, I actually wanted to um to serve this out with rice and put on my table with the mac and cheese and the fish, but me kinda out of pirate dishes, them thing here, and the ones that I have, they are big enough. You understand so I have to leave it in the pot. So the presentation that I was trying to attempt and I'll go get to execute that at all but anyways big up on yourself and again happy mother's day thanks for tuning in thanks for subscribing thanks for everything seeing see the wonderful oxtail people you meet a fire right off I go mm-hmm big up on yourself soon upon the next one